Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today we got a very nice butterfly fish to learn about. It's the black wedged butterfly fish, also known as the sickle butterfly fish or even the Valcula butterfly fish. These long snout butterfly fish do very well in a wide variety of aquariums and do well with many different kinds of fish. These tend to be a hardier choice in the butterfly family and have some great colorations on them. It seems hard to find one online nowadays. Most of the time you're joining wait lists or seeing them on back order, but you'll usually spend around $80 to get a decent sized one, about two to three inches. A good tank size by adulthood for these are around 120 gallons. They're very active swimmers, so you wanna have a nice rock structure with caves, overhangings, for them to search for prey. You'll tend to see them use that long snout in between crevices looking to snag a hitchhiker. Their temperament is very peaceful. I'd recommend it being the only one of its kind in the tank. With other butterfly fish there tends to be aggression between the two but with other fish they do great with virtually anything. You got clownfish, tangs, angels, gobies, wrasse, you name it. However on the flip side I wouldn't go the route of adding them to a predator tank. Butterflies can be very shy at times, and putting them in something that's that aggressive, you'll usually see them hiding just constantly throughout the day. Reef compatibility is definitely a no for me. They are bad about picking at anemones, clam mantles, LPS corals. They're just going to see those as snacks, what they eat on in the wild as well. So putting them in there, I'm telling you, they are going to tear some stuff up. We've even had cases of them chasing smaller inverts like your ornamental shrimp so be careful be aware when adding them to your tank we had some that ate some sexy shrimp one time off of an anemone and then ate the anemone so you can have some really bad luck there if you're not paying attention temperature you want to keep it 72 to 78 dkh 8 to 12 ph 8.1 to 8.4 and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025 everything's going to be basic there Make sure to keep your water levels in check. Do your water changes. They're usually pretty hardy and can survive if you do end up making a mistake with a spike. But I'm telling you, be careful. Keep your water pristine and they'll be very happy in there. Acclimation is pretty basic. Whatever you're usually doing for your fish, do the same for this guy. I usually see them getting up to about 6 inches by adulthood. So a very nice sized butterfly fish, but nothing too crazily big. That requires you to get some crazy huge aquarium. The coloration on them is what is very eye catching. They got a white body with almost a crescent moon of yellow on the back side of their body, as well as these two black triangles on their upper fins where they get the black wedge name from. And on top of that, you're getting tiger stripes that are running down the center of their body. So you're really getting a unique looking fish with this one. It's going to stand out. The whites and the yellows swimming through the tank, it's going to look great. Diet, they are a carnivore, so make sure you're feeding plenty of meaty foods to these guys. They need that meaty diet to keep them healthy. It's going to keep their colors looking great, as well as keeping diseases away and just overall health on these. You want to have plenty of plenty meaty food in their diet. One of their favorites tends to be bloodworms, is what they eat a lot in the wild. But keep a variety of frozen cubes on hand like mysis, brine shrimp, there's krill, there's a lot of different choices out there. Have a bunch of variety so that if he doesn't like one, try the other. See which he's really going to like. That's probably the hardest thing with butterflies just in general because they can be so shy at the beginning and not want to come out to eat. So just be patient with them. Try lots of different foods each day. If they're staying in the back, turn the power heads off. Try to get some food to float back, even if it hits and lays on the bottom. A lot of times they'll even poke their head out and pick around on the sand to get that shrimp that fell down. Just anything you can try, just be patient with them, I promise. As long as you're feeding a lot of different things, he'll find something he does like. Compatibility, like I said, wouldn't go the aggressive fish tank route. Would definitely put them with some more docile fish like tangs, angels. Put them with some wrasse, some clownfish, ones that aren't just going to absolutely tear the guy up. That's everything I got today for the Black Wedge Butterfly Fish. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other info on the fish, please leave your experience down below in the comments. 
the more we learn from each other, the better we'll be off in this hobby. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're new, check out our All About playlist that features a ton of videos about fish, inverts, corals, and just a whole lot of topics that I've experienced. Thanks again, everyone, and have a great weekend.